So welcome back. I'm Alan Jay and welcome to Lincoln Central with your seventh amazing trig tutorial in the basic trig series. Today we'll be looking at the types of triangle there are out there in the far reaches of geometry space all just waiting for you to engage with them. No real head hurting thinking today, so lay back and feel this tutorial wash over you. It's a short one too, but I'm sure just long enough for some. There are two ways to group triangle types, as you might expect by their angles and by their sides. If you decide to separate them by the angles they contain, we have three types of triangle. These are, in no particular order, an acute triangle, where the largest angle is acute, that is, it's less than 90 degrees. Next is an obtuse triangle, where the largest angle is obtuse, that is, it is less than 180 degrees, but greater than 90 degrees. Finally, we have the special case of a triangle with an angle of a particular size contained in it. You might have heard of this before. It's a right angle triangle with a 90 degree angle in it. If we group triangles by their sides, we need to use the system I explained in an earlier video. Remember, anyway, essentially it marks triangle sides to show which ones are equal to each other and so to reveal these side-related triangles. A scalene is a triangle with each of its sides of a different length. An equilateral triangle is one with all its sides the same length. An isosceles triangle is one with two sides the same. Don't you just love these words, scalene, equilateral and isosceles? Have you ever wondered where they came from? Now I want to let you into a little secret. The reason for these tutorials is not strictly to improve your mathematics. There is a hidden agenda to improve everyone's general level of education. So now and then you'll get a little nugget thrown, a little nugget of info thrown at you. Hope you find them interesting. Anyway, these words, let's have a closer look. Scalene is from the Greek skalenos and the Latin skalenos, meaning unequal. Equilateral is from the Latin aquilateralis, meaning same sides. Isosceles is from the Greek isoskeles, meaning equal legs. And there you have it. Doesn't that feel good? Now you're ahead of the game and probably one up on your maths teacher. Now these two groupings of triangles are not the full story. You can merge both systems to get a more accurate picture. You can have an acute scalene and an obtuse scalene. Equilateral stays the same, only one type of equilateral. The sides are the same and the angles always at 60 degrees. You can have an acute isosceles and an obtuse isosceles. And finally, you can have an isosceles right angle triangle and a scalene right angle triangle. home time again. Don't rush out the door, the school bell hasn't rung yet. The next tutorial is on congruent triangles. This goes hand in hand with what we've done today, comparing sides and angles. It's all about the rules for deciding whether two triangles are exact replicas of each other or not. Again, there's no number crunching in this video, but you do need to keep your wits about you. Anyway, Thank you all for watching this video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss the latest vid. See you soon.